All right. I think we're ready to go. Sorry for the, the, the first one that jacked up a little bit. I wanted to try to get the uh, uh, the lighting squared away. And I think we got the lighting squared away this time around. I'm pretty sure it works. Um, so, so I want to continue on working on this, talking about really the bad behavior, or really, let's change it for false bad behavior. And let's go into uh, now I know the name, the sacred name that of Yahuwah, which is mentioned in the Bible, and, I, and I'll put up in a minute, uh, 6,000 times. Every time you see the word Lord, L-O-R-D, capitalized, it replaced the name of Yahuwah. All right. And, and and it's interesting because we want to uh that name really wasn't meant to be uh kept hidden. It was it was it was the there was some oral traditions, not commandment, uh where they were saying is that not to take the Lord, not to take Yahuwah's name in vain, that they uh Felt it was not something they wanted to be able to do uh, consistently, right? They want to to focus on uh, keeping from violating a commandment, but yet, if you think about it, the other commandments, right? You got to think about it: uh, "Thou shall not kill." Uh, thou shalt, which is really thou shalt not murder, right? You don't murder somebody, uh, just period. You don't murder somebody. If you're in war, that's a different story. Uh, if they've been caused to, caused, uh, been judged to be uh, killed, then they be killed because of that. But you don't just randomly kill people. You're not going to, Leviticus was talking about the fact is that <laughs> if you do something, uh, like kill somebody, uh, you you will be held uh, uh, liable unless it was found proven that you were it was an accident, right? Those those, those type of things in Leviticus we go over those things, but that's not that's not the whole point. The point is the people do commit adultery, uh, bear false witness, uh, cover somebody else's property. Uh, you know, even in the oral traditions or the traditions uh, back in, in Christ's time when it said, I honor your father and the mother, uh, but you found a way that you, if you give the money uh, to the church or something, excuse me, then you can you can sit there and say, Corbine, right? Meaning uh, what, what you would have gotten, you know, because I gave it somewhere else. I don't have to take care of you. Well, in the, what the scriptures say, I'm your father and mother. So, to to go to the point where you know it's it's, it's like hiding from him when you say, uh, "I'm a I'm a cover of his name so that I don't say his name in vain." But at the same time, now I don't have a relationship with him, right? If that's that's his name. And remember, there's other many characteristics of his name. You know, Yahweh, you know, he said, I am that I am, you know. Uh, and they don't say that much either. Uh, they might think they want to stone Christ when Christ sit there and said, I am. Before Abraham was, I am, right? And they picked up stones to go after him. Well, the thing, the thing here is that they, they cover up something, a name. I mean, if nothing else, you can mention the name when you're reading the scriptures, right? You don't cover the, you're not saying his name in vain when you're reading the scriptures, right? Think about it, right? So if you you see, the, you know, uh, when you're reading the scriptures, his name should be there because you're reading the scriptures at that time. So it's, to me, now it, it may be the fact that in their Bibles, their Hebrew Bibles, uh, his name is not covered up. But when they did the translation for uh, English, 
King James Version and this, uh, and so forth, uh, they use they covered the name up. Uh, maybe because it was Gentiles. Because I think it was I think it was Jewish scholars that translated the uh, King James Version and some of the other Bibles, right? So they 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 decided to put that in place of Yahuwah, right? At least the best understanding. Uh, we can do some more research on that if you want. Uh, but I, I definitely want to make sure that we do get his name right. As a matter of fact, I, I do want to check something out real quick. Excuse me, I got to get up again. I want to get, I want to uh, record uh, not only on the live stream, but I also want to record. Well, we can do it. I can get the TV to do it. Okay, now, <laughs> don't worry about it. It was, it was one of those uh, AI chats I wanted to get. All right, now, the next thing I want to talk about, this fact is that we need to educate and let people know his name. Uh, and we need to educate and let people know Yah Yahusha name, which is the Hebrew name uh, for the English transliteration of Jesus today. Uh, I was reading, I got, I got an article up here I wanted to show. Matter of fact, I want to show this video too real quick that I think would be very interesting for all of us to uh, uh, listen to. Let me see if I can get it up here. I think that's really, this one is, this is like a must read. Uh, let's see what we got it at. You know, something when you put something together, you can't find it right. Here it is, I think. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go uh, a share what I was listening to today or yesterday. It's online, so I'm, I'm not taking it away from anybody. <laughs> what, what we're seeing here, we we're talking about is the uh, safer or safer. Or I will see how the guy pronounced it on his video. I gave a short video to explain, but uh, this this is where you get a lot of resources uh, to to look at to to get some understanding of the what these guys try to do. They try to do. You can see up in in the in the banner uh, a comprehensive restoration of sacred scriptures. Uh, and I thought that was important because, you know, we got the King James Version, but we, we also, there's different history and different things and different character about the King James Version. Uh, and then it's like some some interpretation up to this time, uh, bringing up more modern, right? And then more, uh, what do you call it, uh, neutral. And when you try to put it together, so this this is interesting. But I put here, he did a uh, a quick video. I wanted to share with you right quick. Uh, there you go. Let me go ahead and play it. And the 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 Hebrew names, but that's the names, right? And we have a lot of scholars that said went through all of this. <laughs> to give us, and I like what they're doing, they're, ter they're taking interpretation uh, or translation not from Greek to English, but from Hebrew to English. That That's powerful by itself because we want to know what is the translation of the Hebrew text for the names that they come up with, right? And in the Hebrew text is Yahusha. Yahusha, right? We talk about, well, you know, I'm not a scholar, right? But Yah means God. Y A H is God. And then Yahusha, we talk about the Savior, right? Uh, and then even, even the Yahuwah. <laughs> I know, the, you know, we know that these are, are new to us, but we need to understand something. English 
is not the heavenly um, language, right? In other words, most of the things we're going to go to heaven if we're going to all speak English um, because that's all we've been taught. No, you, you, that's that you don't, you don't, you're not going to be speaking this English, right? Um, you, you've not, you, of all, there's like hundreds of different languages. <laughs> so, so because there's hundreds of different languages, uh, we will have to adapt. We will adapt to the language that God dictates for all of us. Right. And what I'm trying to say is don't sit there. And, and when you show up to heaven, <laughs> uh, if you get there, right. And all you have to do is you confess with your mouth, the uh, Yahuwah, Yahusha, <laughs> uh, and confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God, Yah, has raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved, right? And and if you say Jesus, because that's what we was taught, right? We was taught. That the English, the proper English word for Jesus is what we were taught to use. And if, if God recognized that we are um, supposed to understand, go by what we're taught. Now, as we get more understanding, though, it's, it's very good to start helping other people understand, too. Because, you know, one scripture that I, I, I like to say that, 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 that I may know him, right, and the power of his resurrection uh, is we want to know him. And, and we, we, we don't want to get in a situation that we never sought to know him, right, and, and for him to know you. Okay, because you know one scripture in Matthew seven twenty one, it says, "Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father." Many will come on verse twenty two. Many will come in those days and said, "Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and cast out devils in your name and done wonderful works in thy name?" And and then verse twenty three, he said, "I I, could, I must profess, I I never knew you." Depart from me, you work in equity, because you didn't know, you don't want to, you want to know him, and he wants to know you. It's, it's, you know, it's one thing about it is the personal relationship that you are allowed to have, and it should be encouraged by all the ministries for all of us to have a personal relationship with Yahusha, uh, with Yahuwah, because that's our salvation is wrapped up in his name. And like I said, if, if if he knows and recognizes, you're not going to go to hell for technicality, right? <laughs> if you always taught that his name was Jesus, and now we get up into the 20th century, right, 21st century, where now we're starting to get a proper translation. We're starting to see and get understanding that we were not getting before. So now you're getting more information, more understanding. That you now you know that he has a Hebrew name. And now you're hearing what his Hebrew name is. And we need to start getting involved with that. Uh we should know it. Because like I said, I, you know and I should have I should have put that in there. Let me see if I can find it. Uh but but it's it's critical, you know, uh that let me see, I'm looking for that no him, okay? That we may know him. Uh, it's, I think it's important for us to, to get to the point where we operate with a knowledge of who he is. It's all about a personal relationship uh, for our own personal growth, our own personal edification is to know him and the power of his resurrection. And let me show you the scripture that says that, right? Let me see if I can put a, I'm going to put a share on it. Let me go ahead and share it. 
Look at this scripture right here. It says, Philippians 3.10. Look what, look what uh, Paul is saying here. He said that I, let me see, guess what? Somebody sends Yankee to the World Series again. I saw that. <laughs> anyway, Philippians 3.10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. You know, and, and if, you, if you go a little further in that scripture, you'll see right here it says, Not as though I have already obtained, either were already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Yeshua. Yeshua. Amen. I'm putting the Yeshua. I mean, maybe we can put down in the uh, Cephas. Let's see if we can do it in the Cephas. Let's read it from the Cephas. That's probably better. Uh, 310 again. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable to his death. And by and if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Now, the key thing I follow, the fact is that that I may know him, right? And the, and the meaning that's the God desire to for you to know him and for he to know you, right? He said, verse 12, not as though I have already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of uh, Mahashe, Mahashe. Mas Mashe, <laughs> get that word, Hamashe, right? So it's Mashe, Yahuwah, Yahusha, right? And and the uh, the Ma Shia is the word for Christ, right? That's addressed to Mashiach, uh, and then his name, his actual Hebrew translation of his name is Yahusha, right? And and it said, brother, I count on myself to apprehend it, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to the things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high call of Elohim and Mashiach Yahusha. Right? Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything be otherwise minded, Elohim shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereunto we have already taken, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Then it's interesting, once again, is let us mind the same thing. And to me, the same thing is that I may know him, right? And the power of his resurrection. He said, brethren, be followed together of me and mock them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Mashiach, who ends destruction, who Elohim is their belly and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our citizenship is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Adonai, Yahusha Mahashiach, who shall change our vile body that we may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue blank, the things, let me say, to do all things unto himself. So, so to me, it's, it's, it's critical for us to start understanding who he is, right? That's, 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 that's the whole point, right? Who he is, that you may know him. See, in many cases, we get to know the pastor, we get to know the 
church to go to, you know, to go to their doctrine, their visions. We get to know all the things about them and we give. I mean, the people, especially in, the, in, the, in, in most churches, right? We give, we pour uh, financial, uh, we pour our voluntary work into the ministry. What we also need in ministry should be to, to equip the saints to pour beyond uh, ministry, beyond the church leadership, and pour in to a relationship between you and your Savior, and most important, into Yahuwah, God Almighty. You know what I mean? You you want to know Him. <laughs> he wants to know you. We we you don't you don't want to get the fact that for first I never knew you. I never knew you. It's not about knowing me. It's not about you knowing <laughs> your mama, or your daddy. It's about the fact, it's not to say you should know them, it's the fact is that you should know him. You should know your savior. You should know the one who who took the beating, who who was nailed to the cross. And 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 that's what matters, isn't it? He who was nailed to the cross, he who 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 died for your sins, he who gave an example for three and a half years, he who created all things, God Almighty, the word of God, Yahusha, framed the word because the word was made fresh, fresh, flesh and dwell among us. Amen. And we want to, because of that, we want to stick to that. We want to focus on that because if you don't, you're going to run into uh, deceptions, right? You, who you think you're going to be looking for when you, when you leave this earth? It's going to be your savior. It's going to be Yahusha. And, you know, I mean, you can go say, Jesus. And he goes sit and say, I know that what you taught me. I said, that's what they taught you to call me. I got it. My name is Yahusha. When, when I was walking this earth, I was called Yahusha. That means I'm, I'm your savior. Amen. <laughs> But you, 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 but you're gonna be saying, "Got it," because you, because you, you understand it now. The main point is the fact is that go ahead and start focusing on knowing Him and the power of His resurrection, so that you may know Him. And I'm saying is get to know Him. I'm saying is focus on on Him. Because that was matters. He's your savior, man. <laughs> and that's all you want to be able to do. I, I know my savior. And because you get to know him, you start conforming to his image. You start conforming to his love. You start recognizing I want to do what he wants me to do. Because he said not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my father. He is trying to tell you that even the father, you must have a relationship with your father. And then when you have a relationship with your father, you want to be able to know him and for him to know you. Father means a a relationship a a a a a connection there's more than just the regular person that walks up and down the street this is somebody who lives in your house this is somebody who dwells in your house this is someone who feeds you this is one who who, who takes care of you and protects you and nourishes you until you've grown to do it for yourself <laughs> That's why Christ came with that concept of saying the Father. Hmm? We want to know the Father. We want to trust in the Father because that's all that matters. Amen. And that's what I'm just trying to tell you is that knowing his name. I know it's so easy to sit there and say, well, what, what, what I'm wrong? No. You, you, what somebody taught you, what somebody taught you. What we're trying to say is, What's being revealed to you is being revealed to you so that you can know it. And it'll give you strength. It will give you more understanding. It will give you power to use his real name, his least Hebrew name to English, not Hebrew name from from Latin or Greek to, to uh, English. 
it with all the translation goes with it. Cause you saw that guy in that video I gave you. He said there and said that, well, if it's really English, then why are we using Joshua? Because we use Joshua translated in English into the Old Testament. But yet we come to uh, the New Testament, we come with a whole new different name. That That's confusing in itself, right? And, and he's not an author of confusion. That that we want to go and start putting in the, the name above every name, the name that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. And I guarantee you, based on that scripture, you can call him Jesus. You can call him uh, other any other the translation. But he just said in that scripture, you will confess. You will bow to Yahusha. So, you know what the scripture said, right? It, it didn't say, see, you sit there and say, oh, every knee will bow and confess to Jesus. But the scripture said, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. When it did it back in the days it was written, Yahusha. Huh? <laughs> That, I'm just telling you, that's just a point. That's just a matter of truth and matter of understanding. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that for you real quick, too, as well, right? I like that, man. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> let me bring it over here for you. can look like I'm still looking right, right at you. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I mean, that's powerful in itself, well, you know, when it said, uh, <laughs> it was a knee. <laughs> so I got to make sure I spell it right, right? Knee shall. <laughs> Let me see if we can find it. I just use these key words in the, in the scriptures. Okay. Oh, we got two of them. Let me see. Go. Let me bring it over here. Let me see. <laughs> You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Ooh, you're going to love this. I'm going to share it with you. Yeah, I didn't bring it up. The word said it, the word brought it up, right? <laughs> this is how it was really uh, originally written. For it, verses Romans 4, 14, 11. For it is written, as I live, says Yahuwah, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess Elohim. Huh? Come on now. This, this, is, this is what she said, right? First of all, said to say Yahuwah. Uh oh, I like that. I, I was saying Yahusha, Yahusha. It's saying Yahuwah. And it's saying, for it is written, as I live, says Yahuwah, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess to Elohim, the God Almighty, huh? So then every one of us shall give account of ourselves to Elohim. Huh? I mean, that's what the scripture said. Ooh, wow. Come on now. This is this is this is something else right here. You know, and it also said uh in the uh he said that also in Isaiah. Let's go ahead and see what Isaiah says here. Ah. I mean, if, if that's important, we're not even saying Yahuwah. And, and, and that's that's definitely clearly written in the Old Testament. But it says here, as I have sworn seven oath by myself, the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear seven oath. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Come on now. This, that, that's how they did it the uh, uh, book of Isaiah huh? surely, I, what, well, surely shall one say in verse 24 surely shall one say in Yahuwah I have righteousness and strength even to him shall men come and all that are increased against him shall be ashamed and Yahuwah shall all the seed of yes Israel be justified 
Huh? In mm. glory. Wow. That's what I'm saying. In my fact, the, 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 the Yahuwah is where that, I was sitting there thinking it was Jesus, but it was saying Yahuwah. Come on now. And and, and this, like I said, Yahuwah is mentioned. Everywhere you see this word Yahuwah is in the King James Version as Lord. Hmm? What's 21 said, tell ye and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together who has declared this from ancient time, who has told it from that time. Have not I, Yahuwah, and even there is no Elohim, God Almighty, else beside me as a just El and a Savior, there is none besides me. Mm. So, so do do you think is it important to, to? Oh, yeah, I was sharing right. You think it's important for us to know His name? Is it important for us to know Yahuwah? Yeah, I mean, it's important to know Yahusha. It is important to know Yahuwah. Yahuwah mentioned 6,000 times in the Old Testament. And it means behold the hand and behold the nail. Huh? It is talking about who, who who's going to end up, who's, who's the person going to have their hands with nails in them? Uh, I, I think that's, that's Yahusha. And then somebody said, no, it's Christ. Yeah, yeah, Christ. Yeah, it's Christ. Christ, Yahusha. Huh? You said and say, well, I've been taught. You, you go ahead and with your bad self and keep doing that. There ain't no problem. Ain't nobody going to say you're going to hell with that. What we're trying to tell you, though, is you, may, you need to know him. And it's important for you to know him, knowing his name. You know, just like if you if you you you're gonna marry somebody, you need to know their name, right? Uh, if you're gonna start dating somebody, you need to know their name, right? If you call somebody your friend, then you need to know their name, right? And I know you sit there and say, "Well, I know his name. They told me his name is Jesus. I got you." And, and you keep on saying Jesus. I ain't nobody gonna tell you not to. But what I'm trying to tell you though is that ain't his name. That's a translation. Matter of fact, that's a transliteration of his name. Now that you now is being exposed, his name. And that makes a big difference, doesn't it? His name. His name. And you need to know Yahuwah. So I said, well, I man, the only thing is confusion, but no, it's coming out now. That's all it's about. It's not just me. You just saw the video I had the guy. He's there's plenty of people out there now telling people his name. And that's all we want you to do is to know his name. You know, so you can say that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And you know what I mean? I mean, ooh, man, I mean, just it's just so powerful in itself. Somebody said, well, you know, you're all deep into it. No, that's okay. I can be deep. You deep as you wanted to, right? Uh but the point is, it's important for you to know his name. You know, uh, that that's that's basically what I like. Uh, so I just I just want to encourage you to seek to understand his name, and 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 in the various aspect of his will. And he said, you need to, he's not everybody going to say, Lord, Lord, send to the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. And when you do it, I like that one of his favorite scriptures I had here as we close up is Romans 10, 9 and 10. And, and this is one dealing with salvation itself, Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if thou shalt confess with your mouth, El and I, El and I'll I, what's the good word? It's called Adonai, right? Adonai Yahusha. Adonai Yahusha. And shall believe in your heart that Elohim is raised from the dead, you shall be saved. You know, say, if thou shalt confess with your mouth Adonai Yahusha 
and shall believe in your heart that Elohim has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Yeah, we're gonna keep you keep stepping on those letters. Sometimes I look, I step on English, right? So it's definitely important to step on uh until we get it right, until we get it in our heart, get it in our spirit, some of the Hebrew language that our savior came from. You know, uh when you think about it, we we have the the Western world has really in a, you know, maybe out of understanding, you know, because you remember like all this stuff sometimes, you almost gotta be a scholar, right? But the point is that all this time, uh the Western side pushed it further and further toward an English rendition. Even if pictures or paintings of of uh Yahusha, right? Uh they turned into a Western image, right? We gotta understand this 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 name, this 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 nation is found in Africa. And somebody said, well that ain't that ain't you you, you some people didn't know Egypt was in Africa, you know, but Egypt is in Africa. The Middle East is in Africa, you know, and some portions of Asia, but Israel, Africa. Uh the names, Hebrew, the Hebrews, you know. Matter of fact, uh that's that that country that the you know the the uh Hebrews lived in where? Egypt for how long? Four hundred years. Four hundred years you 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 become what you are in, in that, that area. And then they left and moved into Israel. Which is just a walk, just a border away from uh, Egypt, right? A ten-day journey. It took them forty years to get there because they had to get the act together first before they actually get to settle into Israel uh, and possess the land, based on the sins of the Canaanites, uh, which was foretold what happened, but it's based on the fact of their sin. The Canaanites lost the land, right? The Canaanites are the sons of Ham, you know, but don't forget even Ham, Shem, and Jepheth all were brothers and sisters. I mean, brothers, excuse me. And if they're brothers, I, I, I'm pretty sure they look much the same. It's just that when people spread out after the towel of Tower of Babel, that people start to adapt and their skin color started adapting to the environment that they went to. But uh, those people were the same color. They had the same mother and they had the same father. You, you, you're you not going to get I guarantee you one thing, you can get different shades of color, but you can't sit there and live with the same group of people and not you know, most cases people marry their cousins uh, or brothers and sisters, but they're gonna mix. So the the Ham and the Canaan and the Ham and Shem and Jephet, uh, I, I guarantee this: that all of their uh, siblings, children, uh, intermarried with one another. So we're not gonna get the color right then and there. Right, <laughs> that does, that don't even make sense. Uh, a population can't grow by just sticking to. Oh, I'm just I'm just going to deal with all ham people, and I'm you going to deal with all sham people, and you're going to deal with all Jeffrey people. No, just like today, right? That's like the day people have different relationships with different shades of color of people because we are a colorful people, all of us. There's no just a blank sheet. As a matter of fact, there's nobody that's just is pure white color, right? This, that that need to be understood too. If you go by the descriptions and the shades of color, not everybody will be just you know the word white. Most people are like salmon color uh, or pink color. Uh, also, I'm gonna pair white, but. Everybody got different shades of color. Everybody got different levels of melanin in them. But the fact is, we're all children of God. That's all that matters, isn't it? That we're all children of God. And that we may know Him. 
And he said, the Savior, so that we may know him. And don't forget, like I read the scripture, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Yahuwah, now I got it right, I thought it was Yahusha, but it's Yahuwah, shall we confess. And if we're going to confess that, don't, shouldn't we be taught that? Huh? Shouldn't we be taught that? Woo! Come on, y'all. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. God bless you. We talked long enough. Uh, we'll continue to get our the acting production squared away. Uh, but the main thing is, and I think everybody out there is actually sharing the name and share, using the Bible, Sefer, the Sefer Bible we talked earlier. Uh, when next time I come back, we'll go over the article that the uh, person wrote. Uh, I thought that was interesting. Let me see here if I can show that real quick. This is the article that we're going to, I like to dwell in next time. I think it, I thought it was real good. Uh, this is this is right here. Yahusha HaMashiach. And that's a Christ by HaMashiach. The Messiah's real name, right? And and by fact, we could, let's see if we cover a quick of it. It said, have you ever wondered what is Jesus' real name? And see, the key to it is real name, right? What he was called during the time when he was here on earth. Or the name of God and the Holy Spirit. If you were to seek out the ancient historic names, what would you find? Would you find the name Jesus? What if I told you that the name Jesus wasn't at all seen in any English language literature until the year 1704? So I was thinking the 1500 is actually 1704. And it was found in a forged document. Do you hear what I'm calling it? This, to me, this is a fake document that the name Jesus was first found. What if I told you that the Greek name was Aesus or Aesus, huh? And that the name found in 1535, Colordale Bible, the 1560 Geneva Bible, and the 1611 James, King James Bible was Aesus or Aesus or Aesus, right? Would you wonder if that could have been his ancient name? When you ponder this a bit more, you would ask yourself, is Joseph and Mary? Look at the names, their real names. Yosef and Miriam, both descendants of King David, living in the Holy Land. Would you have used a Greek name like Aesus? Would they? And what about the angels directed them? Would he, would he be given them? A name, giving them a Greek name for a child? Who would come to sit on the throne of David? Who was a direct descendant of Abraham? Look at his name, because that's Abraham. That's uh, Yit. I don't know what that is. And uh, Yahuvo, <laughs> I don't know, Abraham, Isaac, oh, those are names right there. They're saying it right here. Hey, go, come on now. You got Abraham. Then he said, Isaac, this is what Isaac name is spelled. Uh, yet shows Chichu Shah or something. And, and Yahogo, <laughs> Jacob. Look at that. Look at it. Isn't that interesting? These names come alive. And the son of Yahuwah, uh, Yah, the Yahudah, and uh, Peret, that's Judah, and Perez, in short, a Hebrew. You might call Yosef receiving an instruction from an angel concerning the name to be placed on the child. See, so I'm just saying that those are the type of things that uh, now... That we, you know, you're getting a translation from English to from from Hebrew to English, and yes, those are those are strange and foreign to us because they are. But that's what that's what they were referring to each other. 
And that's what they're referring to. The Hebrews themselves, the, even the Jewish people, refer to themselves now using the Hebrew tongue. Uh, at least in their writings and, and translations of the scriptures. They're using the Hebrew scriptures. Um, and and the, they're the ones that came from Europe are using a lot of the names that they call themselves in German. You know, once again, pushing toward the Western name. But reality is the Hebrew name that God chose for the people of Israel. All right? <laughs> so I think it's time for us to get to know his name because when you get to heaven, you, you're going to call him by his name. You, ain't gonna, you can get up there, you can talk all day long. You can tell your pastor, pastor can tell you all day too. But when you get to heaven, you're going to know his name. You're going to know his name. You're going to call him by his name. You, you, you know what deepness in it? He chose the the Hebrews <laughs> to to bring in as a lineage to the to the Savior. Uh, and I see no reason why when you talk to when you get up there, uh, if uh, all you have to do is just confess with your mouth uh the Lord, right? Yahuwah, right? Anodai, right? And Yahusha. You're gonna do that. You got no choice. Every knee is about, every tongue should confess that Yahuwah is Lord. Amen. All right. God bless you. I'm glad you're listening. Sorry for all the breakup of the names and all that stuff, but you know what? We'll learn it. Why not? You you learn it now, you learn it in heaven. That's up to you. But every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. God bless you. All right, I'll check you later. I'll see you when I see you. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>